I'm Ethan. Let's start today with homecoming news. It's on its way. Tickets are on go on sale today. They are only ten dollars, and you can purchase tickets at the activities window during lunch periods. Remember that if you have that, that if you are bringing another Central Crossing student, other than a Central Crossing student, you must have a guest form prior to buying your tickets. In honor of homecoming next week is Spirit Week. Here are the themes. Monday is Twin Day. Tuesday is Superhero T-Shirt Day, but no masks are allowed. Wednesday is Decades Day, so choose a decade you like to dress like. And Thursday is Comet Day, so wear your silver and blue. And then next Friday, we don't have any school, but it's a blue out for the homecoming game against Thomas Worthington. Now we have Zach to talk about having a safe homecoming. Hey guys, homecoming is coming up next week, and Zach is going to take some time to share some safety tips with you to help you all have an enjoyable and safe dance. Let's remember that homecoming is about making memories and sharing time with alumni, family, and friends. For the seniors, this may be the last homecoming that we experience together, so let's make it a fun and rememberable night. You create your own fun, so don't let the little things that may be going wrong ruin it. Make it fun. When you look back, you will want to remember it as a special time, so keep a positive attitude. Thanks. We all want to be safe and make good decisions next weekend. Here's some other stuff going on next week. Next Wednesday, we have early dismissal. Ooh, and then next Thursday is the Marching Band Showcase at 7 at CCHS. This is a fun night where all bands from all four high schools come play. Plan to come out and support your friends. Also, next week you can volunteer for the Monterey Fall Festival. It is Thursday night. If you enjoy volunteering for our carnival, you will enjoy this as well. If you are interested, please see Ms. Worrell in the reception area. <laughs> And then next Thursday, we have parent-teacher conferences. They begin right after school and run until 9.30. You and your parents can sign up. <clears throat> sign up at Genius.com. Also, next week, you can come see Life After High School, presented by Columbus State. It is Thursday at 6 p.m. In the, in the auditorium. It is never too late to start creating a plan for Life After High School. This presentation will cover all the ins and outs of a two-year or attending a four-year college. Now let's see what's happening in the locker room. Hi Central fans, I'm Jesse. I'm Zach. And here's what is happening in sports. First up, we have an exciting game tonight. We're taking on Dublin Kaufman. Here's senior Jack Wade to talk about the game. Hello Central fans. I'm here to give you the ESPN rundown on tonight's football game. Tonight, we the Comets take on the Shamrocks at Dublin Kaufman High School. Central Crossing holds a varsity record of three wins and three losses. Oh, overall with a one win and two losses in the OCC Conference. Impact players for the Comets offense are Noah Stevens, Derek Williamson, and Colter Bass. For our defensive side, Lucano Sini, Cameron Teacher, and Troy Speakman are the impact players to watch out for. Dublin Kaufman sits at five wins and three losses overall with a three win and one loss record in the OCC. Dublin Kaufman impact players to look out for is quarterback Gunnar Hope, but with our defensive team, we will shut him down. That is it for today, so come out in your neon clothing and support your school. Go Comets! And one more thing, in celebration of our anticipated win tonight, the school store has Mango Fest smoothies. Remember they have to stay in the store or cafeteria. Now that is really it. See you tonight. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, Jack. We know that tonight will be another win for the Comets. We look forward to a 4-3 record. Now conditioning and trial news. Anybody interested in playing boys tennis in the spring, please see Coach Rhodes. Open courts are Tuesdays and Fridays at 3.30. Gymnastics open gyms have begun. They are every Monday in October from 4 to 6 at God Flip. Girls basketball conditioning is getting underway. It is Mondays and Wednesdays from 4.30 to 6 p.m. in the weight room. Baseball open fields are on Tuesdays and Thursdays after school from 3.30 to 5.15 on the varsity baseball field. Softball open fields are, on, are also on Tuesday, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3.30 to 4.45. They meet on the softball varsity field. Then, here's wrestling news. Mandatory conditioning for all wrestlers will begin Monday, October 12th. Conditioning will be on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 3.30. Meet in the wrestling room right after school. All athletes who plan on wrestling this season must attend unless you are currently on the football team. Bring your running shoes. Weightlifting will still be on Mon Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 o'clock p.m. Open mats are also still on Wednesdays at 6 o'clock p.m. Preseason conditioning for swimming is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 3.30 to 5 p.m. They meet in the wrestling room. Strength and conditioning is every Tuesday and Friday in the weight room from 3.45 to 5.45. Boys basketball will have conditioning Mondays and Wednesdays 
from 3.30 to 5, and continue open gyms Tuesdays and Thursdays, Tuesday and Thursday nights from 6 to 7.30 p.m. until tryouts. Contact Coach Homan with questions. There is the, here's the rundown for tryout information. Freshman tryouts are Friday, October 30th from 3.30 to 6 o'clock p.m. and Saturday, October 31st from 8 to 10.30 a.m. JV and varsity tryouts are Saturday, October 31st from 8 to 10.30 a.m. Players will be notified after which practice to attend on Monday. And then varsity tryouts are Monday, November 2nd from 3.30 to 6 o'clock p.m. followed by JV tryouts that same day from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock p.m. That's it in sporting news. Have fun at the game tonight. Oh yeah, and remember to move your cars from the parking lot after school. Us band members need the space to practice. We really appreciate it. Back, Back to, to you, anchors. Thanks, guys. Next in college news. First, for your 9th, 10th, and 11th graders, you can sign up for the PSAT, which will be held at CCHS starting at 8 a.m. on Wednesday, October 14, 2015. You must sign up by paying $15 to the activities window by Monday, October 12th. Here is Mrs. Fairs to talk about it. Good morning, Central Crossing! I am here to remind everyone that the PSAT is happening on Wednesday, October 14th. So any freshman, sophomore, or junior student who is thinking about going to college should be signing up. It is $15 at the activities window, and you really need to turn in your money by the end of the day on Monday, October 12th. Any junior who is on free and reduced lunch can get a waiver. They just need to come down to the counseling office and let me know, and so we can use that. So, sign up. Thanks. Thanks, Ms. Fairs. Next week, we have so many college visits. Here's the rundown. Lord's University is here Monday at noon. The University of Finley is here Tuesday, also at noon. Then the University of Finley and the University of Toledo are both here on Thursday. Toledo is at 8, 8 a.m. and Finley is at noon. To sign up for any of these, log into your Naviance account. Next, we want to congratulate Jill Jacobs, second period class, for knowing that CCHS yearbook is titled The Compendium. That was last week's question, and now it's time for this week's question. Are you ready? It's time for Fuller's Friday Fun Facts. Here we go. If you know the answer, call 1225. So next week marks the beginning of our annual homecoming festivities. What are the four themes for Spirit Week and the dance call itself? If you know, be the first to call 1225. Have a great Friday. And by the way, today is National Batman Day. Just a random fact. See you tonight at the game. Have a fun and safe weekend. And remember to tune it out on Monday.